Ace BMW 35, this is the low setting. We will bump it up to the highest setting here. No telling how far that is. At least a quarter mile, maybe. It's probably a quarter mile away. It reaches the tree line out there. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. This is the W35, the newest LEP light from Ace Beam. It's one of the few LEPs that is zoomable thanks to its liquid crystal diffractive electro optical system. And LEPs are considered to be next generation lighting due to the method in which they produce light, laser modules. I will say one thing I've noticed that people complain about on some forums and YouTube channels is that they don't generate that much output, so they don't want to purchase one. But though some people don't understand how laser modules work, laser diodes get significantly hotter than LEDs. And it takes about 220 to 250 milliwatts of blue laser light just to make around 450 lumens of broad spectrum white light. And that is according to Ace Beam's website. That basically puts LEPs at around 52 milliwatts per 100 lumens, meaning to achieve several thousand lumen LEPs like some people want, you need multiple watts of blue laser light. And flashlight companies would encounter a major challenge with heat dissipation. So I have seen on candle power forms, and I believe there's a website called One Lumen. They did some independent testing on that as well. And it actually came out to be a little bit over spec, uh, which is fantastic. I think the intensity on this light is 1.67 million CD, and it came up to almost 1.8 million on some independent testing. And the lumens, I believe, was 810 at startup. So that puts this light pretty much right at spec and slightly over spec on the range. Now, of course, inside the box, you have your standard stuff. You have your user manual, you have your warranty card, and you have another little warning, you know, please read documentation right here. And then of course, you have this nice little lens cover right here, a little dust, dust cap for the lens when you first get it. So the construction, the build quality, and the machining on this light are fantastic. Of course, it's Ace Beam. They take a lot of pride into making sure their lights look fantastic. Ace Beam certainly has some of the best-looking lights on the market, in my opinion. So here's a nice shot of inside the lens. On the bottom of the screen, you can see the actual wires that supply current to the lens or the glass itself. And uh, I guess crystallizing it or diffracting it, however you want to say it. The only thing that I'm slightly worried about is this diffractive electro optical system is pretty much brand new in the flashlight industry. And I think this is the first light to use it. So will this light stand the test of time and does this have the potential to fail in the exactly. future? So the good thing is, is that in order to make this light floody or turn it into a flood light, it does activate that liquid crystal fractive electro optical system. So that's how you make the light floody. In order to get the light as focused as possible, it is basically just by default on this setting right here. So nothing happens to the lens. It looks just like this when you turn it on. That's what it looks like when you focus the light in. So I'm thinking that if this light has the potential to fail this, you know, LCDEL optical system, then that just means you can't make the light floody anymore, I'm assuming. So hopefully it just stays like this if it, you know, hypothetically fails in the future. So one thing I will say is a lot of people don't realize that LEP technology isn't really anything new. In fact, it's been used in the automotive industry for quite some time. Companies like Mercedes and Audi have been using it in some of their higher end cars for their headlights. And it wasn't around until 2018 that they implemented this technology into flashlights. So it does come with the 21700 back of the tail cap. Forward tactical switch, USB type C. I just take the battery out and charge it to my actual 21700 charger, but you can charge it in, in through the tail cap as well. Back of the tail cap, gold plated contact points, very good quality. And of course, that is the 15 amp battery that it comes with. So, inside the tube, so the user interface on this light is quite simple. You have two electronic switches right here, and you have a forward tack switch back here. This is basically the main activation, and the switch on the left is obviously to focus the light or unfocus it, and then this is your output level. 
So the only thing I don't like about this light is the fact that it doesn't really have mode memory on the last optical setting you had it set to. Zoom, zoom switch will not be memorized. So this light doesn't actually have mode memory on the focusable setting. However, there's a way you can actually change that and have it memorize the focusable level that you want. So essentially all you do is you just find out, you just get to whichever focus level that you want and then double press the button and when you turn the light off, it'll memorize the last mode you had it set to before you double press the button. So right now it's floody. If I double press the button right now, that is the highest concentrated level possible. Now, if I turn the light off, I would want it to memorize that, that, uh, that mode, but it won't, it's floody again. So all you do is you turn the light on, you press the optical setting, focus level, and keep pressing it until it is as tight as possible or as focused as possible, which is right there. You double press the button, then turn the light off, and now it should memorize that last mode you had before you double press the button. So there it is. Kind of a way you can uh, memorize that uh, optical setting. All right, so user interface, click the button. Nice little LED indicator letting you know how much battery power you have left. You have nine modes of flood, I believe, or nine, basically nine focus levels. So that is its max floody setting right there. It looks like the light is freaking out and dimming down and getting bright. It's not actually doing that. It's my camera. You basically just double press the left focus switch to focus it into the tightest hotspot. And then double press the switch again to go into its max flood. So to cycle through the modes, you just press the right switch. This cycles from low, medium, high, and then double click to get into its turbo mode. Oh, well, that wouldn't, I'm sorry, that's the highest mode, okay. So that is the W35 from Ace Beam. We'll take this thing outside and show you what it can do outside. The Ace Beam L19 Osram Green, it's about 550,000 CD of intensity. And then this is the Ace Beam W35, about 1.7 million CD. This is the low setting, so we'll ramp it up to high. There's nobody over there. That is not even high mode. That's the high mode. Unreal. Unfreaking real. My camera trying to focus. Look, this light is so intense that the uh, light is reflecting off the lake. Showing a beam in the air.